released a new software update for the Axiom and Axiom Pro. It was released in January and the update number is 3.3.170. So almost everyone needs to go and do this. So I'm going to go to settings and then I'm going to go to software update and I'm going to check online and then we're going to uh, check our Wi-Fi setting and it says that I need to uh, connect and so that's what I'm doing right here is connecting uh, to the Wi-Fi and it will take just a second for that to do that once it's connected then we can start the process of downloading it the software to this unit so now it's connected okay so we're just going to go back here a second. All right, yep, that's what we want. And then uh, we're going to start. And it says it's checking for updates online. So I know there's, there's one there to update the insurer. Okay, so we're just going to update it because that's the one that we are looking for. And so there it shows that it's updating it and it's uh, 715 megabytes. So now we're just waiting for the 3.3 uh, software update to download so we can continue on here. This is for the Axiom and Axiom Pro. It does a few things, it's kind of a large update. It has some radar enhancement. Uh, the weather mode and Sirius has been changed some. Uh, it's um, in the sonar upgrades have been uh, that's probably been the largest section of this and that's the real vision 3d historical uh, is is changed them they've increased the sensitivity there uh, the display for all sonar they've made it so you can actually stop your sonar uh, so it doesn't work uh, if you don't want it to it can be put on hold and then when you get back in the water they've done that so people trailing their boats would uh, be able to turn their sonar off and then uh, depth and intensity scale for real vision 3d has been changed it i've actually been there and looked at it it looks a lot better than what it was before it's easier to use easier to tell and then of course uh, they also changed out uh, the radar the sonar range so it would be um, an easier transition from from the deeper water shallow water type thing and then I uh, did a few other updates and it says it fixed some bugs and then other improvements so uh, you need to go in there and change that part we're just waiting for the um, we're waiting for the download to happen so we can continue on with this and we can uh, get out fishing Downloading and so now it just restarted itself Just like normal it takes just a little bit showing that it's processing the uh, download there so it can come up Okay, it's getting ready to power itself up There you go, software successfully updated and it shows it's 3.3.170 so it's all ready to go, can go out fishing now. Just need to do that so you can keep it updated so that when you go out there you got the quickest, fastest, updated software version in your sonar unit so that you can see better and catch more fish. I'm good to go.